So what's up everyone, the Note 5 is a great device and in this video I'm going to show you 10 apps to enhance your experience while using the Note 5. Although some of the apps in this list are specifically made for the Note 5, others can be used in other Android devices as well. Overall, all of these apps will add new features or make the existing features in the Note 5 a lot better. So let's get started. The first app on the list is Galaxy Buttons. So this app is specifically made for Samsung Galaxy devices to address one of its issues. So at night, the lights from the navigation buttons can cause issues because it's too high. And there is no way to decrease it or turn it off inside the settings menu of this phone. But after you install this app, you will be able to change the intensity of the light you can choose to whatever you want it to be or you can turn it off. And if you decide to turn it off, you will also save battery as there is no use of those lights anyway. So that's all about this app. The next app on the list is Lido. So it's a photo editor app and every smartphone needs to have a good photo editor. Before posting any of your photos online, you might want to make it look better in a small amount of time. That can be done with this app. So once you open this app, you can choose a photo and below you will have a lot of tools that you can apply in the photo. The first tool here is Splash Tool. So in this tool you can create a shape inside the photo and then edit its size and then you can choose the effects that you want inside the shape or and outside the shape. The next tool here is the Blur Tool. So again here you will have some shapes and you can then select the size of it and choose whether you want to blur the inside part of the shape or the outside part of the shape and you can also choose the intensity of the blur effect and then you have got the mirror effect so if you apply this it will make the duplicate of the photo so that it seems like there is a mirror in between of those two then you have a grab tool so from here you can apply a layer of color above your photo uh, you can choose which colors you want and you can even choose the design of the colors Next, you'll have flares. So from here you can choose the flare, you can choose where you want to start the flare and its type and the designs. Then you have a new tool called Leaky. So it's like a mixture of grad and flare which looks a lot better. So here you can choose the design and the color, the intensity and there are a lot of options that you can choose from. Then you'll have, you have got some filters of three categories classic vintage and black and white then you have options to add text in your photo and at last the overlay tool so from here you can either add texture to your photo or noise to your photo so there are a lot of options that you can choose from here and some of them are really good and at last you have got some adjustment tools so you can change the brightness, contrast, exposure, you can resize the photo, rotate, crop and a lot more. So that's all about this app, uh, you can edit photos very quickly using this app and everything is very easy. So just give it a try. The next app on the list is Quick Click. So with this app you can assign certain accents to a combination of volume buttons, uh, accents like or turning on flashlight, capturing picture, opening a certain application and a lot more. So for example, you can assign to open flashlight after double pressing the volume up button. Well, it might conflict while you are decreasing the volume naturally, but you can also set the interval time. For example, that action will only trigger if there is 300 milliseconds or more gap between the volume button presses. Or you can also choose combinations like volume up plus volume down which will not conflict with the natural way of clicking the volume buttons. So to create an action you just need to open this app then click the plus sign here and choose the action you want and then you can specify the combination of the volume buttons and it's done. And every time the action is triggered your phone will vibrate to let you know that it's been triggered and you can press that combination again 
to turn it off like to turn off the flashlight you can press the volume up buttons two times and from the settings here inside you can change a lot of things like the time interval between the key presses so that's all about this app the next app on the list is Muzai so it's a wallpaper app actually a live wallpaper app which will change your wallpaper at a constant interval so what's great about this app is that you can choose your own sources by default it will display a new painting every day but from google play store you can download a lot of extensions for Muzai for example you can download the 500 fire paper app so this extension will get wallpapers from 500px website where you can find amazing wallpapers and you can also choose the type of wallpaper that you want and the interval at which you want to change the wallpaper a simple google search can take you towards amazing sources and in this app you can also set blur effect for every wallpaper so from advanced here you can select the blur dim and the gray intensity so after double tapping on the wallpaper the wallpaper will be revealed and after some time the blur effect will come back on so that's all about this app with this app you don't need to worry about changing wallpapers you will always have a good wallpaper in your home screen the next app on the list is autodesk sketchbook so this app will utilize the s pen provided in the note 5 and its pressure sensitivity and it's a lot more convenient to draw with a pen than with a hand in any touch screen based device the free version of this app provides some basic tools while the pro version of this app provides a lot of advanced tools and this app also has integration to Dropbox and also have some useful features like palm rejection which will help in the Note 5. So in the main screen you'll have a canvas to draw and above here you'll have some options so from here you can choose between the brush type uh, there are a lot of to choose with and if you have the pro version you can have a lot more options as well. From the side here you can choose the color you can choose any color you want and then from here you can play with layers you can lock them add more move around them and here you have got some tools that you can use here and from the dot below here you can change the saturation brightness and the size of the pen by some swipe gestures so that's all about this app overall it's a great app to utilize the s pen and some people who can draw have created amazing artwork using this app the next app on the list is Relay for Reddit. If you don't know about Reddit, it's entertainment news site. You just submit the link, which is then voted by others. Now, if you have not used it, go use it now. It's great. Relay for Reddit makes it easier to browse the website Reddit in small screen. This app is based on material design and is very comfortable to navigate. All of the links are displayed in the main screen and from the side menu here, you can and have access to subreddits and search in the website and opening any link will display the content of that link and from the below here you can have access to the comments and you can also choose to download the content and this app also has got some navigation tools to skip between threads which can be useful so that's all about this app the next app on the list is equalizer plus it's a music player. The default one does the job it's meant to do, but Equalizer Plus does it better. So this app even lets you to control your music. Uh, in the main screen, you'll have all your music sorted in terms of various categories. And once you open a track, you can choose the equalizer. There are a lot of presets based on various genres, and you can even create your own. You can easily play with the levels here and come up with your own equalizer that you can use later. And at the side here, you have got bass boost. So by enabling this option, it should increase the bass of the music. And it works unlike other applications. And at the side here, you have got video artwork just like in old Windows Media Players. And on the top here, you have got search button to search through your music library. So that's all about this app. It's a great music app. The next app on the list is Action Launcher 3. So if you don't like the look of TouchWiz in Samsung, you might want to try a custom launcher. 
An Axel Launcher 3 is one of the best launchers available in the Play Store because of the features it provides. So once you install this launcher, it looks like stock Android. So once you swipe from the side here, you'll have a list of all of the applications sorted alphabetically. If you don't like this type of app drawer, the traditional one is still available. And in this launcher, you have a lot of features like covers. For every folder, you can create a cover. So if you tap that folder, the cover app will open and if you swipe up, the folder will open. And if any app has widget available, you can just swipe up the app icon and the widget will be there on your screen. Above here, you'll have the quick bar. So here you can add any shortcuts or any apps that you want to have access to. You can even add folder of application, separate applications or phone number. And there are some gestures in this launcher to get things done quickly like you can swipe up to go to the settings menu and you can set actions for each gesture separately so you can set the gesture for swipe up, swipe down, pinch, pinch out, double tap and a lot more. And in this launcher you can also customize a lot of things you can change the icon pack you can change the grid size and a lot more. So you can have a lot of fun while playing around with the customizing option this launcher provides. So that's all about this app. So as usual, the default keyboard in any Samsung device is okay to type with, but not good enough, as there are a lot of good options available in the Play Store, like Minum keyboard, which provides a different type of layout and is proven to be one of the fastest keyboard. So if you want to, Check it out, the links below in the description box, but I would like to recommend you guys the SwiftKey keyboard. It's similar to the keyboard provided in the Samsung Galaxy Note 5, but a lot better. The flow feature in this keyboard is a lot better than what you would get in the Samsung keyboard and the predictions are very accurate. And you can also sync your words in the cloud if you need to upgrade to a device. You can have all your words in that device because it's saved online. And this keyboard also has a lot of extra features like you can change its layout, you can resize it, you can undock it and move it anywhere, you can choose between a lot of different themes and a lot more. So that's all about this keyboard. SwiftKey is a lot better than the default option. Whenever I switch to SwiftKey from the default one, my typing speed increases significantly. The next app on the list is Todoist. So this app has been around for a while and recently it got a major update with design changes. So as the name implies, it's a to-do list application and it's compatible with 15 plus various platforms like iOS, Windows, Android Wear and a lot more. So once you log in with your Google account or any other account, you can start syncing with all the devices you own. So in the main screen from here, you can add your task. Or you can also add some extra information like you can choose to have labels so that you can organize it. You can even add subtask, comments and reminders. On the main screen you can use some swipe gestures like you can swipe right to mark it as completed or you can swipe left to change the date of that task. And all of these changes are synced immediately across all of your devices. And from the side view here you can see your task by various categories or by various labels or all your tasks due in next seven days. So that's all about this app. This app also has a widget which can be useful. So that's all about these applications. All of these apps were not made specifically for Note 5, but if you had them, it will help you a lot. So that's all about this video. Hope you guys have found some application for yourselves. Subscribe for more videos and subscribe me on social medias. The links are below in the description box. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.